Entrance Antiphon. A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon beneath her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we celebrate the Feast of Assumption of our Mother, let us uh, look at her life and see how she lived her life according to the will of God. Coming to our own lives, let us see where we live by the will of God and where we fail to live by the will of God. I confess I, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to do through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, earth peace to people of, of goodwill. We, we praise you. you. We bless you. you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your son, body and soul into heavenly glory. Grant, we pray, that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be shares of her glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The sanctuary of God in heaven opened, and the Ark of the Covenant could be seen inside it. Now, a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman adorned with the sun standing on the moon, and with the twelve stars on her head for a crown. She was pregnant and in labor, crying aloud in the pangs of childbirth. Then a second sign appeared in the sky, 
a huge red dragon which had seven heads and ten horns, and each of the seven heads crowned with a coronet. Its tail dragged a third of the stars from the sky and dropped them to the earth. And the dragon stopped in front of the woman as she was having the child, so that he could eat it as soon as it was born from its mother. The woman brought the male child into the world, the son who was to rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And the child was taken straight up to God and to his throne, while the woman escaped into the desert, where God had made a place of safety ready. Then I heard a voice shout from heaven, Victory and power and empire forever have been won by our God and all authority for his Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, On your right stands the queen in garments of gold. The daughters of kings are among your loved ones. On your right stand the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. On your right stands the queen in garments of gold. So will the king desire your beauty? He is your lord. Pay homage to him. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. On your right stands the queen in garments of gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Death came through one man, and in the same way, the resurrection of the dead has come through one man, just as all men die in Adam. So all men will be brought to life in Christ, but all of them in their proper order. Christ as the first fruits, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. After that will come the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, having done away with every sovereignty, authority, and power. For he must be king until he has put all his enemies under his feet, and the last of the enemies to be destroyed is death, for everything is to be put under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Mary has been taken up into heaven. All the choirs of angels are rejoicing. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Ghost according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zachariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now, as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greetings, the child leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honored with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greetings reached my ears, 
The child in my womb leaped for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit excels in God my Saviour, because he has looked, down, looked upon his lonely maid, is from this day forward all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. And his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has rooted the proud of heart. He has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lonely. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich sent away, empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors of his mercy to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, today we are celebrating with joy the assumption of our mother, Blessed Virgin Mary. In the church, it has been a long tradition that she had been taken into heaven, body and soul. The long tradition was declared an article of faith by Pope Pius XII in 1950. Ever since, it is a great celebration for the Church. We do not find clear evidences in the Bible regarding the assumption of Mary. But there are many links that help us to understand it. And it is on the basis that Pope or Church declared it an article of faith. So Mary is considered as the second Eve. We know the story of Adam and Eve. The first Eve had moved against the Lord, against the commandment of the Lord, and she, along with Adam, had been put out of paradise, Garden of Eden. The second if Mary come into this earth and she perfectly follows the will of God, the word of God, the commandment of the Lord, and she even receives the word of God and transforms that word of God into flesh, flesh of Jesus, the Son of God. So we find an entirely diff, a, a, a contrast between the two 
Eves. So one was put out of the paradise. Here one is taken to that paradise, to the kingdom of God. Because she fully complied with the word of God, will of God, and lived by the will of God. She gave birth to Jesus, son of God. She accompanied her and took care of him. And we find, in the, in the beginning, we find that how hard it was, it was for her to take care of Jesus. The very moment of conception itself got a lot of mental tension and a lot of controversies. Then the trouble of moving away to Bethlehem and giving birth to Jesus. Then away, again, bleeding from many places to other, one place to another. So it was hardship all the way. Then finally we find the Jesus whom she gave birth and cared throughout his life was again back to her when he had no more life. When he died on the cross, the dirty, dead body was again handed over to Mary. So, so the whole life of Mary centered around Jesus. And it was that natural for God to have Mary with Jesus in his kingdom. So it is it is said that Mary was taken to heaven, to the glory of heaven, both by body and soul. So it is not only an event of a particular person, Mother Mary. It is uh, an event of hope for every human being. Every human being would know the destination where she or he has to reach. So ahead of all of us, she has moved to heaven, the glory of the kingdom. So as we celebrate this feast, it is a feast of hope. It is a feast that we must live with hope. Sometimes in our lives we have many failures, many dreams do not get realized. There may be various reasons for that. But this one dream, this one hope, we cannot miss. So we must live in such a manner that whatever we miss on this earth, on this journey, but this one thing should not be missed. So that is why Mary has been taken into heaven, so that we also have the confidence and the hope that that is the, our destination. That is where we are going to be after the life that we have over here. So as we look forward to the joyful time with God along with Mary, let us check with ourselves how we can get closer to Mary, how we can have a similar life, how we can 
practice the will of God in our daily living. Definitely, we all have great devotion to our Mother Mary. So let us ask her help for us to live our lives according to the will of God. Definitely, Mother Mary will help all of us to follow the path that she passed on this earth. Please stand. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Raised body and soul to glory, Mary shines forth as a great sign for our eternal future as the, ch as the church. But we are still pilgrims as we bring our prayers with her to God our Father. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and religious, that our Heavenly Father may grant them the gifts required to establish his kingdom here on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, that they may imitate the faith of our Blessed Mother and carry out the will of God wholeheartedly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they will always work for peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer. For our families, that the gentle Queen of Peace may reign in every home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer. For Cecilia Ku Hong Ling, who left us on the 3rd of August, and all the faithful departed, that our Lord will show them mercy and welcome them into paradise, where there is fullness of peace and joy with him. Let us pray to the Lord. For our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, our prayers come before you. With the help of the glorious ever Virgin Mary, the first believer called to share in the glory of your triumphant Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, our tribute of homage, raise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today, the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church coming to perfection and a sign of sure hope and comfort to your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb. Since from her own body, she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, Lord. heaven Amen. and earth are full Amen. of your glory. Hosanna Amen. in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your heart is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with friends of Pope William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres of eternal life and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and worth him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father with Jesus, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said he opposes, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon. All generations will call me blessed, for he who is mighty has done great things for me.
So let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O oh Lord, that through the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you have assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the joy of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.